When I, when I graduated from college, I knew that I wanted to be involved in service and joined the Peace Corps, spent quite a number of years, five years in the Peace Corps. Um, when we returned, I was married when we returned and uh, then had my son. Two years later, uh, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And that was, uh, that was a shakeup in my life. It was a real turning point in my life. And I decided at the time I wanted to spend more time with exercise, change my diet, and I became real passionate about physical activity, running, cycling, skiing, walking, hiking. And um, it did so much for my self-esteem, for my sense that um, I could have some impact on my health. And I wanted to share that with others. So I really developed a passion for that. And I learned that the, <clears throat> the university had an adult fitness program and um, wanted to go see what that was all about. So I went over and volunteered over there and just loved the atmosphere and um, applied for um, the master's program in what was then the physical education department. And uh, then the director of the adult fitness program, Max Morton, who was a wonderful man, uh, left the university to become the uh, director of the Coors Wellness Center. And I happened to be in the right place at the right time. So I was given that position and then developed courses and began to teach. So I went from a half-time to a full-time position and here I am. I've loved my job and uh, feel privileged and appreciative that I've been able to do it for so many years. I was, an, I was a graduate student in the master's program at the time, um, non-traditional age. Most of my peers were a lot younger. I found that really stimulating. I loved being around the young people. Um, I appreciated the faculty in the department who were very supportive of me and um, really enjoyed my time at the university as a student. My role at the university was twofold, really, to teach academic courses in the department and to uh, manage the adult fitness program and supervise the roughly 40 or so undergraduate practicum students who worked in that program every semester. So I had a unique opportunity to get to know my students one-on-one, -on -one, um, learn about what their interests were, what their, um, uh, where they were headed, what their family backgrounds were, um, what their interests were in life, and we'd, we would really develop a bond. Um, so I, I came to really appreciate being able to encourage them and um, support their passion for helping others because um, they're all, most of our students were uh, involved in or enthusiastic about being in a helping profession, wanting to help folks regain their health or improve their health through exercise. Um, so I found that role to be really stimulating and rewarding, to be helping students move on and share my passion with others. When I was first hired by the department, we were the Department of Physical Education. And there was a health promotion program in, uh, in the department at that time. It was rather, it was small, much smaller than it is now and not as so much a focus as it is now. Um, also, when I began studying in the department and then working in the department, there wasn't much of a research focus. Um, the faculty in the department were primarily teaching and sport was the focus, really. Um, but over the years, we've hired new faculty who've been very passionate about research in the field of health promotion and improving the health of the population. and. Um, the health promotion program has blossomed um, exponentially. So we have many, many more students who are enthusiastic about that program. And our sports medicine program has grown. So we have many students now in the department who are preparing for professional degrees in physical therapy, medicine, nursing, etc. cetera. Um, so I've seen a lot of changes, yeah. I personally see students from our department who um, gain considerable experience, practical experience, working with adult fitness and in other practicums in the community, 
who then go on throughout the, um, the country, working in hospitals, um, physical therapy clinics, um, uh, <clears throat> senior centers, um, corporations that have wellness programs, um, and become prime movers in these kinds of departments, in these kinds of programs. Um, I <clears throat> always enjoy when one of my adult fitness clients would come over to, a, to an exercise session and say that he had just been over to the hospital <clears throat> to have a stress test or a nuclear study or a cardiac test. And one of my former students was administering the test and would say, oh, don't forget to say hi to Sherry. And, um, and I always would ask, well, how did it go with that, that former student? And the comments that I get were that the person was always very professional and really appreciated working with them. And uh, one of the special projects that the students and I began um, promoting early on was the homecoming race. And the goal of that was twofold, to give my students an opportunity to experience um, putting on and administering a race and to encourage the adult fitness members and members of the general community and the university community to participate in a healthy activity, homecoming morning. <clears throat> and that grew from maybe 20 participants at the beginning to um, well over a thousand now. And, uh, I really enjoyed that activity and, this, and enjoyed having the students work with me and putting on the activity. So it was a lot of fun. So I think the university now sees it as a regular part of the homecoming weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to see it as a healthy part of the homecoming weekend. It's <laughs> wonderful. The students and I would um, put on events for the adult fitness program to encourage bonding among the clients and between the clients and the students. Um, so we would have a gathering just before the holidays every, at the end of fall semester every year and uh, have a meal together and provide an opportunity for the students and the clients to bond and say farewell to each other and enjoy each other's company. There was. Um, the bonds that developed between the students and the adult fitness clients over the years were, were wonderful to watch. Um, I would have the students um, <clears throat> focus on one particular client each semester, although they would spend time and support all of the members. They were, they were, they were encouraged to focus on one person and then write a, um, a study at the end of the semester about that person. But the bonding that took place was, was wonderful to see. I think it was uh, um, very um, beneficial to the student and certainly for the client who got this one-on-one -on -one support. And um, one, of the, one of my favorite memories is that one year, one of the students who had a very old rattle trap car um, at this holiday gathering um, gave a card to the person he'd been working with and then the student had to leave early. And uh, when the client opened the card and the student had left, in it was the keys to this, the student's car. And he said, here, Henry, I'm giving you my car, which was this old rattle trap thing, which was falling apart. It was sitting in the a Lori Student Center parking lot. And I think Henry just left it there, but it, it gave everyone quite a chuckle. Oh. <laughs> um, when I began teaching at the, in the department, I was responsible for the practicum, which had a lecture component and the clinical component, and managing the adult fitness program. But over time, Kathy Kennedy especially, who's the director of the health promotion concentration, and I put our heads together and realized <clears throat> that we were lacking in um, helping the students learn um, how appropriately to prescribe exercise, to give clients guidelines for exercise, clients who were <clears throat> presumably healthy, and those who have special health concerns, heart patients, diabetics, etc. So we, I designed a course for that. And then we also didn't have a course for our undergraduates in exercise testing, which is key in this field. And um, so I designed a course in exercise testing and reading electrocardiograms, which is um, key to interpreting an exercise test. Yeah and really enjoyed teaching those over the years. Well, when I was in Peace Corps, I, 
I was teaching um, science and English, and that was in Korea. And then after I was married, we went to Malaysia for three years, and I worked with the education department in um, helping middle school teachers learn to incorporate practicum experiences, laboratory experiences um, in their classrooms, in their science classrooms. And so I've always been drawn to teaching and actually um, have a degree from Harvard in, in education, in teaching secondary school. Um, so I always loved teaching, but I have a passion for exercise. So I ended up combining the two. Well, I began, uh, my undergraduate program was at Wellesley College in chemistry. Um, I really loved science, but in the summer I worked in a laboratory, chemistry lab, and decided, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be involved in service and working with people. So that's when I joined the Peace Corps. And then after that, decided I really liked teaching and went back for a degree in education. Um, and then, then came my passion for exercise and uh, ended up at CSU. I have an undergraduate um, bachelor's degree in chemistry, master's degree in education, and actually my degree from CSU is an MED. It was at that time in um, what is it in? Health, exercise, and science. <laughs> yeah, it's in health and exercise science, but it wasn't then. Oh. <laughs> to be honest with you, it was um, my department head, Dr. Gay Israel's idea, and uh, I was very enthusiastic about it. I loved the idea of having a scholarship available to students in the health promotion concentration in the future, and so my husband and I contributed to it, and. Actually, many of the adult fitness participants and the attack pack participants who are heart patients in the community also contributed to it because I've developed so many relationships with these, these people over the years. Um, and I'm delighted that it's available to a student every semester. Well, I've loved my job. Um, I've really um, felt so rewarded by having the opportunity not only to work with young people and develop relationships with them, and at the same time um, support these adults in the community in improving their health and watching them develop a passion for being more active. <clears throat> I still uh, run into my students all the time, um, run into them sometimes, um, find them out when I'm out cycling. Just last weekend I was skiing, backcountry skiing in the mountains, and one of my students came up the trail and we chatted for a while. She's up in Breckenridge right now. Um, one of my fondest memories is of <clears throat> a non-traditional age student who was in the practicum, who, she was in her mid-40s, I imagine, had a family, um, wanted to come back to exercise and uh, wanted to come back to school and learn more about exercise. She was an aerobics instructor and wanted to do more with that career. And one of the requirements I had for my students was that, or one of the things I encouraged my students to do each semester was to run three miles with me by the middle of the semester. Because I wanted them to be role models for this client population that we had, and also to have the fitness that many of them had. She panicked. She thought, oh my gosh, I'll never be able to do this. She, Later on, she told me she cried, she told her husband, I'm going to fail the course, which she wouldn't have done. But he helped her, I helped her figure out how to train for this, and she passed it just fine. A year later, I was involved in the um, uh, Colorado run, which is on Labor Day. Many of our clients in the program were involved. It starts and ends on campus. Um, students are involved. And at the, end of the, at the end of the event, I participated. It's a 10K, 6.2 miles. I found that Pat had actually beaten my time. She would run faster than I had. Well, a year later, I was riding my bike up Trail Ridge Road with a friend. We were riding over to Grand Lake. And here's this woman running up the road with this little pair of pink shorts and a black T-shirt at Rainbow Curve up Trail Ridge Road. And I turned and looked. And it was Pat. And I said, Pat, what are you doing? She said, I'm training for the Pikes Peak Marathon. And she ran the Pikes Peak Marathon up and down Pikes Peak. 
that's always been a, um, a fond memory of mine that she, the clients in the program, other students have really developed a passion for being more active. And um, it uh, does so much for folks' self-esteem in addition to their own physical health. Well, I would like to, I would like to add that um, one, of the, one of the things I very much have appreciated about my time at CSU is my relationships with colleagues. Um, <clears throat> I have great relationships with the other faculty in my department, with all the department heads that I've lived through over my career. Um, they've all been very supportive of my work. Um, despite the fact that I'm not a bench scientist, not involved in research, and many of the faculty in the department now are very much involved in, in research. That is the focus of their careers. Um, we still have great relationships. We're interested in what each other is doing and still interact. And um, not only in my department, but across campus. I've, I've really enjoyed the relationships I've developed among the faculty and staff at CSU. The fact that I <coughs> was diagnosed with breast cancer and went through treatment um, was both a curse, um, an unfortunate circumstance by all means, and a blessing because it, it helped me develop a passion for life and for being active and taking care of myself and sharing my passion with others. So in my case, and I see this with um, other folks in the adult fitness program, for example, who've been diagnosed with a serious illness, have a heart attack, have to have bypass surgery, um, diagnosed with cancer, who have a new lease on life. Um, they become more physically active, more fit, feel better about themselves physically than they ever had before their diagnosis. Um, so I've seen that over the years and it's been very rewarding to watch. I was drawn to the service profession, of somehow being of service in the world, Pretty much once I was in college, that wasn't a focus in my family, particularly. And I think it just came from within me because I care about people. I care about um, what's going on in the world. I care about the environment. Um, much more interested in, in service than in making money. And um, I think that comes from within. Well, as I was getting ready to graduate from college, and I knew I didn't want to spend my life in a chemistry laboratory, I was walking by the library, and there was a large poster advertising Peace Corps. And I read that poster, and it just, it just, um, it meant so much to me. I just knew immediately that's a direction I wanted to go. Um, and so I went for it. And I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that it, um, it came from within.